Banks and the yield curve. We have a whole separate lecture on the yield curve in uh, module four, actually. It's the liquidity risk module, but that's where we talk about the yield curve because for, for BTRM, the cornerstone of, uh, of banking is the fact that we have a positively sloping yield curve. I don't want to talk too much about yield curve in this lecture because we have got a whole separate lecture later on. Um, but um, we are able to undertake maturity transformation in a way that is profitable for a bank precisely because there is traditionally and conventionally a positively sloped yield curve where the shorter term interest rate is lower than the longer term interest rate. And so I will pay deposit customers at the shorter date interest rate and I will lend to borrowing customers at the longer date interest rate. And there's a difference between the two which enables me to generate net interest income. OK, uh, by the way, there's another metric that I will now introduce, but we have a lecture next week that talks about it in a bit more detail. And that's net interest margin, which is an estimation of uh, your net interest income, uh, the, the margin of net interest income uh, as a percentage or a fraction of your lending book, the size of your lending book, a net interest margin. It gives me an idea. It's a performance metric, net interest margin. OK, and um, there is a close connection between higher net interest margin and a higher yield curve and a more positively sloped yield curve. That's what I'm showing on uh, on slide 18. The left hand side is the traditional conventional sloped yield curve, which enables me to generate net interest income reasonably easy. Sometimes I have an inverted yield curve, which uh, takes which happens um, uh, when you've got, you know, heading into recessions and then it makes net interest income generation more of a challenge because the higher rate is at the lower end of the curve. But of course, that's generally seen as a temporary state of affairs until the economy emerges from recession. OK, negative interest rates, which I've written there on the last bullet point there, negative interest rates present another set of maturity transformation issues. Uh, absolutely, yes. Uh, negative interest rates. If you look at the left hand curve there, often the um, often the, the the curve still looks like that. But when I when I go along to the um, the far end, it's still below zero. <laughs> so the y axis would still be below zero even at the far end. So I've got a positively sloped yield curve, but it's all negative. That has particular challenges and issues for ALM practitioners. Okay. 